Thank you, welcome. <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Firstly, a very warm welcome on behalf of the CSEA for joining us tonight to break bread in this blessed month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a very special time for all Muslims. I will not speak too much about this as our Imam, Imam Shahu, will be speaking about the importance of Ramadan a bit later on. Only to say that during Ramadan, Muslims pay special attention to their spiritual development, charitable giving and community service. The intention is often made to give more of our time and resources in the service of others than we gave in the previous year. Living in Britain, we would like to extend our hands in friendship to our colleagues and neighbours who are not Muslims, so we may build on our shared values. The Iftar meal is the special time of day when Muslims open their fast and give thanks for the food they are receiving. Today, we would like to spend a special time with all of you and thank you for joining us. Many of you here may or may not be aware about what we are hoping to do with our charity or what it is about. I would like to say a few words about our charity and our new headquarters in Bolton, where we are all sitting now and what we hope to achieve before passing the mic on to Father Chris to say a few words. The charity's full name is the Centre for Spirituality and Cultural Advancement and we refer to it as CSEA. It was established by His Eminence Sheikh Kabani. Sheikh Kabani is one of the world's most renowned scholars on Islamic history and spiritual science of Sufism. As deputy leader of the Nikshbandi Haqqani Sufi order, Sheikh Kabani is authorised to issue religious edicts and counsel students of the movement, which by recent reports number in the millions. For the past two decades, Sheikh Kabani has worked tirelessly to help non-Muslim societies to understand the difference between mainstream Muslim theology and the ideology of minority extremist sects. He has counseled thousands of at-risk Muslim youths, both in the UK and around the world, from a life of violence and crime and has brought them back into mainstream society. Sheikh Kabani has worked very hard in bringing communities together. He always encourages us to engage in cross-cultural interaction, celebrating the differences that make us unique communities. He has led many peace initiatives and hosted normal, noble conferences around the world. The CSCA was launched on the 4th of February 2010 in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. It was a very memorable event for us because we had a chance to showcase the Muslim community's contributions to British life, whether it was in music, sculpture or cultural arts. It was attended by Muslims from 30 different communities, as well as people from the Christian, Jewish and Sikh faiths. The event reflected the mission of the CSEA, which is to offer a holistic approach to spirituality, embracing all faiths as, the, as different paths on the road to spiritual awareness. The key ingredient is to build shared respect and mutual understanding between diverse groups. Our activities are trying to build gaps of understanding between our communities, sharing and experiencing spiritual and cultural diversity. We are excited that our headquarters had, has undergone major construction and renovation work, Many of you who have been here prior to the work commencing can see the vast difference. We still have some work left and are hoping it shall be completed fully in the next few months. We are hoping it will be the state of the art facility to host multi-faith conferences, seminars and conduct courses in diverse spiritual traditions. We hope this centre will be a place cultivating positive networks and giving young people a place where they can belong and hopefully channel their energy into peaceful and productive outlets. We plan to host educational and interactional programs as well as a broad, on a broad range of issues, everything from mediation, peace building, cross-cultural awareness, civic engagement and artistic expressions. So our programs and activities are designed to help people with self-esteem, inter- and intrapersonal skills in an environment that encourages the different ethnicities to mix and reduce inter-community segregation. 
The members of our team are from diverse backgrounds, both pre professional and ethnical, and are committed to building really new innovative programs that has a national as well as a local impact and to build the capacity of the Muslim community to be an integral part of the wider British community. The CSEA will be working in partnership with other voluntary and community organisations and in partnership with statutory bodies to provide such services and various other services including self-empowerment programmes and counselling. We are excited about the opportunities that will come with our new centre and for all of you to be part and participate. We hope that we will become a valuable resource at both the local and national level. We look forward to working with all of you and once again thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Everyone. Very good to be here. Um, my, my name's Chris um, and I'm the, um, <clears throat> I'm the parish priest of St. Lawrence's Roman Catholic Church just across uh, Felton Green there. Um, I'm also the chair of the Churches Together in Felton, Hamworth and Bedfont and on behalf of many of the churches I want to simply say to you welcome. Welcome um, to this new place um, uh, and this new part of our um, multicultural uh, life here, uh, which makes life so exciting, so exhilarating, uh, and so beautiful. Um, I love your air conditioning too. <laughs> Do you know if if you could tell me where you got it from, then I'm gonna I'm gonna get it installed in my house in my bedroom because it's so hot, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? But it's just so good to to stand with you tonight. Um, over 25 years ago, you know, um, Pope John Paul, who was the leader of the Catholic Church for well, 25 or more years, Pope John Paul held a pretty unique gathering um, in Assisi. Now, Assisi is a very beautiful little town in Italy, in a region called Umbria. Uh, it's very near Perugia, where they produce really nice chocolates. And uh, a very famous saint came from there called Francis. He was uh, a very simple man, a very humble man, a very joy-filled man, a very God-filled man, Francis. And Francis uh, composed and prayed and lived a very beautiful prayer. He said, make me a channel of your peace, Lord. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope where there is sadness, joy, where there's darkness, light. He wrote and he lived that prayer hundreds of years ago. Well, just over 25 years ago, Pope John Paul, who was our spiritual leader then, he invited as many of the religious leaders from across the world as wanted to come, to come and just stand with him in Assisi for half an hour and to stand together in silence for peace and he was joined by almost a hundred religious leaders from across the world from Christian churches from the Islamic world from Hinduism from Judaism Sikhism many of the other religions and walks and ways of life just standing together for peace and that to me was the most beautiful, what we call a parable, it was the most beautiful picture of what life can truly be like, of what we're made for, which is to stand side by side with each other, to stand for peace. We all of us believe in one creator God, the maker of heaven and earth. And God has put us all on this earth for a good reason and for a good purpose. And that's to stand side by side as sisters and brothers, just like it was in the beginning in a garden called Eden, to stand together again for peace on earth. So as I welcome you to, to Felton on behalf of the churches, and as I greet you during your fast of Ramadan, so I look forward to everything our friendship here will achieve. Thank you so much for this invitation. I bet some of your tummies are rumbling, in which case I'm going to stop. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello everyone. Um, it's a hard act to follow there. <laughs> uh, follow a professional who's used to speaking. <laughs> so I'll try not. I'll try to be uh, brief. Um, I'm Nigel Tracy. I'm the sergeant for Felton West that covers this area. Um, it's not very often that the police go anywhere alone, so I've brought some colleagues to, <laughs> to assist me. Uh, the two officers on the left, they will. They are going to be what's called the de dedicated officers for this area. Yeah. The officer on the right is Brian Westwood. He'll be the designated PC for this area and also with most of the liaison work going on here at the centre. And the officer on the left is Andy Danaher, who is a community support officer. He's been involved um, since Dino and Farzana came here with myself for the last three years. And again, he'll be the designated, de sorry, dedicated officer for this area. So you'll be seeing quite a lot of Brian and Andy over the next few years. Um, again, I'd just like to go back to the start with I've been made to feel very welcome, um, Brian and Andy would feel exactly the same. I first came down here uh, with Andy, it must be nearly three years ago, is it since you bought the building, Dino? Um, it was uh, a total uh, wreck, <laughs> what, what, what the NHS had left behind, and it's been very interesting seeing how the building has progressed, and initially we, we did sit down and we spoke about what sort of plans we could do in sort of years to come and how Dino and Fazana could help with the community. Um, it, was, it was a little bit frustrating at, at first with the time it was taken to get the building done and everyone was very keen to get it up and running and now that we're sort of near that stage and we're sort of, we've had a, a recent meeting where we've sort of been planning what we can do, um, it is getting quite exciting and I think it's going to be absolutely superb once we get some uh, community work started and there's, there's plans afoot to, to get all that up and running. So all I can say, it's, it's an absolutely fantastic charity and what you're doing here and uh, myself and the Metropolitan Police are very proud and honoured to help you. Thank you. It's even harder to follow now because I know you're really hungry, so I'll make this very brief. Uh, my name is Councillor Colin Bottrell. I'm the ward councillor for Felton West, which is where this covers, and it covers all along the high street. Um, I'll make it brief. I'll tell you a quick story how I met the CSCA. I was at work one day and my mobile goes off, and I think, shall I answer it? Shall I not? So I thought, I'll answer it. And I, there's a lady on the end of the phone telling me, oh God, there's a moss opening up, there's a moss opening up, please, please, come there, they're all coming, they're going to take over. So I'm like, right, okay, um, I'm sure it's not as bad. No, 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 you've got to come, you've got to come. So, right, fine. so I go and see my boss and I say, look, I've got to just disappear for an hour. I've just got to go and see what's happening down the road. So he said, okay. So I turn up here and there's a big sign, an Islamic sign. So that did freak everyone out a little bit. So I turn up and I walk straight in and say, hi, I'm Council Guy and Watch all what's happening. And they said, oh, we're, we're opening up, we're doing this and that. I went, right, okay. Then I get a phone call. And I'm in the mosque, oh, sorry, in the spiritual center at the time, and I get a phone call saying, you know, they're putting a dome on the roof, they're putting a dome on the roof. You've got to... and I'm like, where are you getting this from? I'm standing here right there, there's no dome going on this roof. I am standing here. So I, I sat down with Simon, we had a chat, and um, I managed to go back to the people that had, were a little bit worried, and I said, I told them what was happening, and they were like, all oh, right, fantastic. And I've told them to come and see the center anytime they want, and I believe people have turned up and spoke, and, um, so far, everything's gone well. I don't think I've had any problems since. Um, but what I would like to say is I'd like to thank the Spiritual Centre because without you, I wouldn't be able to do half the jobs that I do. We've had, uh, we've worked very closely with cleaning up the community. We've had a day out where we went and cleaned up the local park for, I think it was um, Easter. I believe it was, it was Easter. And then obviously I'm chairman of um, Bedfont House, which is a old people's home in Bedfont and the Spiritual Centre have been there a couple of times now just to celebrate with my residents there. The Centre for Spirituality, Cultural Advancement. So, yeah, it's the CSCA, yeah. <laughs> the CSCA, yeah. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you because I look forward to our future together because I know that I can always rely on you. You know, we've been on the phone many times talking about what we can do in the future and we've got there's lots of plans. And without you, I wouldn't be able to do half the things because there isn't many places I can go and ask for help. And I know that I can always ask for help from you guys, so I'd like to thank you. And I think I'll leave that there so everyone can have something to eat. Thank you.
Okay, so I'm going to make peaceful greetings to you all. I'm so sorry. I think we keep on building it up as if we're about to break our fast. We've got, we've got about 20 minutes or something, haven't we? 40 minutes. <laughs> Inshallah. We'll, we'll, we'll get through this. Um, Assalamu alaikum, peaceful greetings. Welcome to you all. Uh, with the pearls of Islam, we do a little bit of poetry and singing. We try to sing. We try to um, do some stuff on the guitar. And inshallah, we're going to share a little bit about you, with you today. Please forgive us. We are fasting, so our throats are like... And just bear that in mind. Maybe if you sing with us, it will disguise everything that's going on here, inshallah. Inshallah, we start with Bismillah ar-Rahman And now we're going to send some peace. We're going to say Assalamu Alaikum. We're going to teach you some Arabic for today. Assalamu Alaikum is saying, May peace be with you. All right? And in return, somebody would say, Wa Alaikum Assalam. Okay? So we're just going to try it. This is, this, uh, we're going to try it. It's a greeting, it's a peaceful greeting. So when I say Assalamu Alaikum, I have a big smile on my face because I'm a happy person. Assalamu Alaikum, and you will say Wa Alaikum Assalam, which is saying, Peace be with you too. It's a beautiful greeting. So Assalamu Alaikum. Good. One more time. Assalamu alaikum. That's pretty much the song. That's in, in the entire song. All right. So this one, let's give this a go. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam We greet you with the best of greetings when I say when I say yeah, yeah. may the peace and love be with you may the peace and love be with you Assalamu alaikum, you say, Wa alaikum assalam, do you understand? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, and you say, I know we're hungry. Assalamu alaikum, and you say, A bit more. Assalamu alaikum, and again, Assalamu I send salams and peace to you all. I send salams and peace to you all. 
In this beautiful meeting, I'm sending peace for greeting. I send salams and peace to you all. I send salams and peace to you all. In this beautiful meeting, I'm sending peace for greetings. Ya yeah, salam. 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 the month of Ramadan and they say in the month of Ramadan the first 10 days is of God's mercy um, and this piece here is called Mercy we're not very good with naming our songs but um, it's called Mercy and it's just about mercy. God's mercy yeah, yeah it's about mercy. It or not, it's about mercy <laughs> um, and it was actually written last Ramadan in the first 10 days of, of Ramadan because Ramadan is a, an opportunity and a, a time to to really appreciate God's mercy you know it's raining and they say the rain is also mercy so this is a piece called Mercy I need your mercy. Yes, I need your mercy. Yes, I want your mercy. And I feel your mercy. Yes, I feel your mercy. Cause it's all around me. Yet again, I find myself on my knees. Praying, Ya Allah, please forgive me with your mercy, your endless mercy. I find myself unable to speak. I am humbled as I seek your mercy from your merciful ocean. And I need your mercy. Your yes, I need your mercy. Yes, I want your mercy. And I feel your mercy. Yes, I feel your mercy. Cause it's all around me. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. people mashallah help us out with fasting thank you a little bit louder Even though you did most of the singing, but Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Obviously, we want more. Yeah. 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 
Okay. I hope like we would sing and then we'll sit back and it'll be like five minutes and we'll break our fuzz. But no, I can't do that. Um, okay, inshallah, we're going to sing. We are going to, we are going to sing uh, another nasheed and it's called, um, a nasheed is basically, it's a piece of poetry, a sung piece of poetry. And it's about praising the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and praising Allah, praising the divine. Um, and this one's called Salatullah. Okay, Bismillah ar rahim Salatullah, Salamullah, ala Taha Rasulillah, Salatullah, Salamullah, ala Yaseen performance but it's not really we're just getting you guys to do everything <laughs> clapping singing okay we spend that i'm going to do two pieces because i think i think that's enough time and i could see people bringing in food you guys can't see because you have your backs to it but there's food being brought in um and you don't want to keep the food waiting um this piece is called love like sakina said we're not very good at naming our poems like and this is about love we've got mercy and it's about mercy this is called love and it's about love and this love is about the divine love, the heavenly love, the love that binds me to every single one of you in this room. Whether you like it or not, right? We're all connected <laughs> by love. Because that's what we are. Ultimately, we're love. And we're all connected. Um, and so it's called love. So we ask you to lend us your ears and lend us your hearts. Okay. In the name of the divine, the most merciful, the most kind. You see, I sit and I try and write some poetry but I do not want it to be flowing from the anger inside of me. I want every word to be embedded with love, carried on the backs of doves to the ears and to the hearts of those that are listening to me. I want to be taken to a place where I can hear the birds sing and the trees, yes, the trees are rustling in the wind. A place where I can hold the hand of my Jewish, my Christian, my Buddhist, my Hindu, my human brethren. A place where the colour of my skin or the direction in which I'm praying or this hijab that I'm wearing is not a concern to those that are around me. A place where it does not matter about the why, the what or the how you're going to avenge your enemies by killing innocent children in the streets. You see, I'm not concerned about their nationality, whether they are Palestinian or Israeli. I'm concerned because this is humanity. You see, I sit and I try and write some poetry but I do not want it to be flowing from the anger inside of me only fueling the frustration and the hate in those that are listening to me 
You see, we are on a time frame and there's not enough time or space for my rhymes to be promoting hate. I want to hold my head up high and say to the divine that I chose to love. I chose to love his creation, despite anger, hate, war, poverty, greed, I chose to love. So you may call me crazy, call me a hippie, or even a Sufi if you wish. Your labels mean nothing to me, because I am here to love, and I'm going to keep on loving and loving and loving and loving, till we are all singing and singing. Ya Allah, please let me join the oceans of mercy, the merciful oceans of love. And that is love. <laughs> Thank you so much. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. A'udhu billahi min shaitan ibn sallallahu alayhi wa rahim. I'm sending a greeting. Subhanallah, when he was giving the talk about the jump of the second, an arrow came hit into my heart. First and foremost, peace and the blessing be upon you. And our guest, <clears throat> the Sikh community, local councillor and police officer, and all guests who came here, may the blessing and peace be upon all of you. Before I go, go to speak about Ramadan, let me confirm the word that he said the father. He said John Pope II, he's been trying his best. He was a great saint. We hope in Christianity faith to receive more like him. Two occasions, there was a meeting between him and my two spiritual leaders, Sheikh Nazim. In 1994, there was an international peace conference for all interfaith in Vatican. And our leader was telling us, he said six days the conference was going, but he said we did not go. He said myself and Pope Second, we've been sitting in a room and all the time meditating on behalf of all the humanity. In 2002 again, there was other meeting in Jordan. June 2002. Again, my old, my spiritual leader, Sheikh Nazim, was not able to go, so he sent his son-in-law and also his, de his deputy, Sheikh Hisham, to go again to initiate and to integrate in order, nothing else he said, but was the best plan, how can we solve all the problem which is going in this world? They have done, but all good ones, they gone. What's left? We don't know. And we hope and we pray for their sake, may Almighty send us other ones who enlighten among us and bring a love among the community. The second issue which it touched me also, our prophet said, a believer you will know whether he is a believer or not. One thing, Allah Almighty is saying in our Holy Quran, he is saying that, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in ja'akum fasiqun fatabiyyan. If some crazy guys come to you and try to put in your ears or in your heart a corrupted news, the first thing you have to do, what is it? You have to try to find out the basic, what he, he or she is saying is correct or not. When he was saying, I was shaking myself. So it can be, because Almighty, he is telling to us, I do not look your outward appearance. But I look in your heart. If your heart is for all humanity, his light will send it. He came immediately here to find out to know the news is being the, the notice uh, the whisper is being given if it's correct or not. And he find out it was opposite. May God bless you all of you. To go back to Ramadan, and one of the things again I have to thank also it came while they, they were, they, he was giving the talk. The police officer, who are they? Almighty is telling us, Allah, Obey to Almighty and obey His messengers 
which without making any difference. Like the verse that is being recited by the brother in law Ibrahim, he was saying that La Nufaruk Bain Ahadim Rasuli. Do not make differentiation between them. Don't say this one is better, Moses is better than the the Jesus, Jesus is better than don't say and all of them they are from me, he said, Almighty. So in that way, Almighty is telling us you have to obey me and obey to the Prophet and what he said. Those who are on authority. Why we have to obey them? Because if you obey your authority, you will be safe. My time when we are sleeping, all of us say that <laughs> we say in the police officer they are running on the street. I cry when I see, I pray for them. They do not sleep. Their happiness is safety of their community. So our duty is to pray for them also. May Almighty give them a power to continue their duty until wherever the end, this world ends. So our safety lies where? On the authority where we live, the country where we live, and again, especially the local officers, while we are sitting in here now, you may know one thing. If they were not here, maybe we would have a lot of aggressive coming from outside. Okay. So it's, why are you silent? You have to thank for Almighty saying Allah in shakatum la yeah. 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 He said that when I have given you a little bit favor and you you thank it, I will increase. So the favor will go upon us is that we are not those who the day and night they are having nightmares standing up when they hear a news, something has happened in that corner. Quickly they have to run, drive crazy, running well. Also to see for what reason? Only our safety they doing that. And what we have to do, we have to thank for them. Because our Prophet, what he said, Man lam yashkur an nas, lam yashkur lillah. Everyone has to open his ears. Yeah. He did not say, Man lam yashkur al Muslim or Islam or no. He said, Man lam yashkur an nas. He said, If someone makes you a favor, lam yashkur an nas, nas is all humanity. And you do not thank and say, Thank you. If I do not say you, I'm not making you a favor. When I'm saying to you, Thank you, that it means. If I do not say to you, he said, it's like not, you are not thanking to Allah Almighty. It's like not, we are not thanking to the Almighty Creator. So when someone makes you a favor, what do you have to say? Thank you. And this is what Prophet told us 1400 years ago, and it's been practiced now the country where we live. And we pray, may Almighty give long life and health and power, Her Majesty Queen, because this is the only country. I travel on so many places, which so many multicultural, and we are all of us integrated to each other. We hope it will continue. To go back to Ramadan, Ramadan is one of the 12th month of the month of the Arabic Islam calendar. Prophet Muhammad, he said, Allah in Rajab Shahrullah, Sha'ban Shahri, or Ramadan Shahrul Ummah. For sure, he said, the month of Rajab, which was two, the one month, two months before the Ramadan, he said, this is the month of the Almighty, which is forgiven all, all humanity, everyone. He did not say that he's forgiven only particular faith. He said all of humanity, those who they, they do not associate to anyone, Almighty is forgiving them. That month when it finished, he said, Shaban is my month which I have to intercede all humanity. And the proof of that one, that he said, those who they know in Arabic and the Muslims, they might some, maybe some of them may say, how they, this crazy Imam is saying that he is saying like that. He said, Shafa'ati li ahli al-kabairi min ummati. My intercession, and my dua and my prayer is for the big sinner of the nation and all of us we are the nation of the prophets yeah. from Adam to the end yeah. and then he said the other month is going to come he said the month of the ummah the nation the month of the nation so the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad what do we believe this is our belief is that it is not only those who they say la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah anyone who is got love they are the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad why? Because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, one day he was standing in the giving in khutbah in the member and one Bedouin come to in front of him and he asked him, he said, Oh Messenger of Almighty, how far is the day of judgment? He's not answering because by law you, you cannot talk and give someone else to give discussion. He did not answer. Second time they asked him, no. Third time he has received Gabriel alayhi salam, peace be upon him, telling him, answer him, he said, Oh Almighty. He said, what have you prepared yourself? He asked him, the day is so far. Did you done anything good? He said, I have done nothing. This is the word he said, and it's authentic saying in, in Islamically. 
He said nothing. He said, no prayer I've got enough to praise to my Lord Almighty. I have never done any good action, but I have one thing. What he said? Hub. Nothing else. I have got love to my Creator and His Messenger. This is what he said. And the good news he's been giving them, don't worry, you will be those who you love. Always you will be with them. So what we need among us, nothing but love. So he said this holy month of Ramadan is Awalahu rahmatun wa ausatuhu maghfiratun wa akhiruhu itkun minan niran The first ten days is where Almighty Creator, the Creator of, of all of us, no one is excluded. No one can say that we've got the one Creator and you have different Creator. No. He is the one who created us like this. So all of us, our Creator, that the first ten days, he said he's forgiven. Without looking any action, what are you doing? And this, if you get forgiveness, nothing else you need. Yeah. If someone has been burdened from the, 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 the jail, the moment he come out, he's more happy. So the first ten days, he said, is forgiveness. And Rahma, Awalhu Rahma, is mercy. So that mercy, it can be encompass anything. And he said, Almighty Rahmati wa shayin. My mercy is encompasses with my anger and whatever is happening. That mercy is nothing but love. If you got love, you walk the street, you will be spotlight. Everybody will come towards you and is trying to smile for you. So please keep that love in your heart. And the mercy will come upon the humanity. And also, before we go more wider outside, we have to start within in us. Each individual of we are sitting here, we've got a universe. We've got a country, if we start the law within, in, in, if we start and comes out and goes to the family, the son, the children, it goes wider, like when we go to the stadium, because I've got some, one of my, by the way, let me tell you that, I'm a sports of, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, it is me sometimes, because, one of the brothers was telling me, he said, if you haven't got a job, he said, instead of backbiting, go sit down, put the TV, watch the TV, watch the, who is playing football. And this is my passion of playing football. And I've got football also, young ones, I hope that with all of your prayer, soon they will be a star, all of them. So the, it takes all the heaviness, in reality, as long as you win. <laughs> as long as you win. So he said the second one is forgiveness. After the mercy, forgiveness. The last one, Iran, Almighty is freeing all his servants. No one can say that someone is being excluded. Each individual he created, he said he is freeing from fire. That's why we are so giving more important in this month of Ramadan, fasting. And when we are fasting, we are not fasting ourselves. We are fasting on a community, on behalf of all those who did not get this message. That is the main intention. And the fast, Almighty, He is saying that Asawmul Li. He said, fasting is for me and I am the only one who knows how, to, how much reward I'm going to give. No one else. So in that reason, we fast the month of Ramadan and may Almighty bring peace and harmony in this community because all of us one community in reality. When people, they say that we're going to integrate with different communities, there's no community. Where are we from, all of us? Your Holiness, all, all, all humanity, where? From one child, not two. First Adam, peace be upon him, one. Is, 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 is there anyone else saying that we came from someone else? All of us were children of Adam. And what he said in the Holy Quran, he said, Adam. For sure, we have honor, humanity. So we've been honored and it's still we are back fighting to each other, we are harming to each other. Let us stop this and establish love and happiness. As they were saying, the ladies, the pearls of Islam, may, all, may God bless them. They've done a lot of work everywhere. Wherever they, 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 there is an event, they go in there and show it only. They don't even ask anything. We hope that they will continue doing their job and their father and their mom and all of them. I know them a long time. May Almighty the support them. And also, I ask forgiveness all of you if we did not accommodate you as it's supposed to be. Yeah. First, Your Holiness, all of you, I'm asking you forgiveness on behalf of CSCI. Because we hope the following month, maybe two months, 
maximum I think in two months the goods will arrive and we're going to have luxury when you come next time you're going to feel more than what you are feeling now why because now we haven't done that's what we are regretting and our prophet said to us all those who believe almighty day of judgment you must take care and love more than yourself your guests although in reality you are not a guest this is your home maybe i'm a guest i may be a guest but in reality you are me i'm you so there is no guest this is your home you're welcome and we hope we will work together very strongly in the in the future and you pray for me also all of you to get a property soon to move here now i live very far essex the days i can come is limited but if i move this side we will have more time to work together especially the the, the local councillor here i don't know if he's remembering me that we did a job cleaning in the park there last time here there. and you don't get such a humble but this is gift also from almighty that's because no one would accept that i'm a counselor after god clean the rubbish and the, and the park but this no and the ability what he asking almighty he has need nothing else from us he said wala tuzaku anfusakum do not try to praise yourself and to make your ego to be said i am i i'm nothing as much you are humble you can attract and we ask forgiveness again on behalf of all the CSCI. We hope that the next gathering is going to be bigger than this one, especially when our spiritual leader comes here. I request you to have a time at that time to join us and the, see the views. Because what they are teaching us, nothing but love. They say to us, if you love someone, definitely will love you. But if you do not love him or her, the beginning, because it has to come the action first from within me. It does not come from me it does not reach you so we love you all of you welcome we love you for the for the sake of almighty without saying showing off why because all of us we are one one of the our nashid reader by the way by the, by the way the name of the shire is the a poet, someone who recites. <laughs> I need to read with you the some of the praising, yeah, some of the praising of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But I need from you two words. You say nothing. Salam alaykum, Nabi. Salam alaykum, Sayyidi. This is what I need. So the this to enlighten us and bring unity among us. Come, come, don't forget that. Come quick. You're the young. Mm. My hands hurt you. Yeah. Mm. Do we want him to play? Yes. 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 Come. Come. come here. Come here, son. Muhammad ya. Muhammad ya Muhammad Muhammad ya Muhammad ya Muhammad Muhammad muraduna liqauk ya Muhammad Muhammad muraduna liqauk ya Muhammad this is the description which given to the, our prophet, which is the prophet of all humanity, because Almighty He is saying that, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Oh Muhammad, we have sent you nothing but all humanity. Alameen is law of walls. And then He said, إِنَّا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ كَافَةً للناس. That's why that this is the teaching of the people of spirituality, what they are teaching us. They say that Prophet Muhammad was sent for all humanity to reach them with love. There is no place that he has used such a things which is happening now because we don't want to go to, into the something which is not our the job. But what he came is what nothing but love. So it's describing him 
that he was the best man that who came because there is no place they can come in so many scholars so called the scholar of muslims let them show us where it is written in the quran or the saying that where the prophet has attacked there is no place he was attacked and he forgave them yeah. but what he said jesus peace be upon him when they slap here what he said come down study prophet muhammad was bleeding while he was bleeding, an angel Jibreel came to him and said to him that, Give me a permission, Almighty God has sent me that I will crush this, the mountain and finish them, all of them. And what he said, No, I have been sent as a mercy for all humanity. And I hope in one day they are going to remember to their Lord Almighty and prostrate him to their Lord Almighty. If he, has, he would have done that time, who are not going to say all of us in here, La ilaha illallah, no one have remembered to Almighty. But because of he has forgiven, we are here and that town were saved where now they call Saudi Arabia. They have that name, but the real the name is the, the we call pilgrim, pilgrimage, Hijaz in Arabic. Yeah. Which all the they go. Muhammadiyah, Muhammadiyah, Muhammad. Muhammadun Muraduna, Liqa'uk ya Muhammad. Muhammadun Muraduna, Liqa'uk ya Muhammad. What I need from you is it Salam Alaika Nabi, Salam Alaika Sayyidi, you say. Salam Alaika Ya Nabi, Salam Alaika Sayyidi Ya Nabi, Ya Imam Al Haram, Salam Alaika Ya Nabi, Salam Alaika Sayyidi Ya Nabi, Ya Imam Al Haram, Muhammadun Ashraf Al Arabi Wal Ajami Ya Nabi, Ya Imam Al Haram, Salam Alaika Ya Nabi, Salam Alaika Sayyidi. شريف كريم يا نبي يا إمام الحرم سلام عليك يا نبي سلام عليك سيدي يا نبي يا إمام الحرم والله أشرفه والله أعظمه يا نبي يا إمام الحرم سلام عليك يا نبي سلام عليك سيدي يا نبي يا إمام الحرم وغفر لنا ذنبنا واستر لنا عيبنا يا نبي يا إمام الحرم سلام عليك يا نبي سلام عليك سيدي يا نبي يا إمام الحرم يا نبي يا إمام الحرم سيدي يا إمام الحرم يا نبي يا إمام الحرم سيدي يا إمام الحرم يا ربي نجعلنا مديحه كسبنا يا نبي يا إمام الحرم سلام عليك يا نبي سلام عليك سيدي يا نبي يا إمام الحرم يا نبي يا إمام الحرم سيدي يا إمام الحرم Thank you very much. Why we recited this the poet? Because our Prophet, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace and the place and peace upon him and all the Prophets. He said, anyone who's remembering any of the Prophets in that moment that you are remembering them, mercy will come and encompass anyone who is sitting there, whether they know and they do not know. And he gave an authentic saying that he's saying that they are special. How many four minutes? Yeah, special angels who they make tawaf. They go road by road and they are seeking wherever it's been the member Almighty. And wherever it's been the people they are sitting, they speak. Almighty told us that he's saying all humanity, I have created the, the spiritual being and humanity. Nothing but worship me. But the worship is not only the five times prayer or you sit down and say, well, you go there. The community, what you are doing, the service, that was called say, the, the Prophet Moses. Almighty has told him that, what have you done for me, O oh, Moses? And what he answered? He said, oh, my Lord Almighty, I've been worshiping you. I was praying. He said, no, this I was giving you in return. But I need to know what have you done for me? And he is saying at that time that, oh, my Lord Almighty, because he was talking to the, to Almighty, Musa Kalimullah, we say, Isa Ruhullah. Isa is the, by the soul, we say, Jesus is the soul of Almighty, we say, the, the Holy Spirit of Almighty. 
that the, we say, and the Moses is the one who speaks to in the Mount Tura Sina, in the Mount of Sina, he was speaking to his Lord Almighty. He was asked a question, what have you done for me? He said, I'm praying all the time, going to synagogue, doing my duty, so and so. He said, no, that is for you. You haven't done for me. But if you want to do something for me, he said, you have to help my, my servant. Go to the community. And one of the things he done, our chef was giving a talk. One of the days he said, Moses, someone come to him of his time and ask him, say to him, I've got a guest, I need to cook for them. Can I pour with your pants, please? He said, no, because you haven't believed in me. I'm not going to let you. The prophets, they do these things because they knew, but they want to teach that servant who is coming in a different way to show him how Allah Almighty, how the Almighty is so merciful. So, and then, after a while, the man was running. Don't start like the prayers. Stop saying that it's many minutes. So, after a while, what happened? Moses running after him. He said, come take the pot. I'm going to give you. He said, no, no, I don't want now. When I was asking, you were not giving me, unless you tell me why you are running after me, oh Moses. And then he said, the reason I'm running after you, if you do not take this, because he was one of the five great, uh, great prophets. Yeah, very powerful. If you, if you do not take this, Almighty would be erasing my name from the messengers. Prophets and messengers are quite different. 124,000 prophets, 313 messengers, which they get the books. So he was one of them, on the top of them, on the five. So he said, if I do not now, if you do not take this pot to cook food for your guests, I will be having a problem with my Lord Almighty. Why? Because he told me that, he said, listen, 70 years I've been feeding him, although he was not thanking to me, my servant. Only one time he comes to you and you say such a thing, go give him. And that person quickly he said, I believe that Lord Almighty. So how merciful Almighty is this? We hope may Almighty bless all of us, our gathering, and we hope to see you always with happy and more energized. Especially you, next time you will be standing here longer than you. May Allah taufiq. Inshallah, we make dua. What happened? Who is calling Nadan?
اللهم رب هذه دعوة تامة وصلاة الغائمة آتي محمد وصيل والفضيلة والدرجة الرفيعة العالية وابعث يا ربي المقام الذي رزقنا شفاعته يوم القيامة إنك لا تغلب في المعروف زيت من الله لك أسلمت وبك آمنت وعليك توكلت على رزق غير افترته تامة We are saying that oh, Almighty we are believing in you and we are praying our past the provision which you provide us is what I Hasretin var, yürekler aşkınla çarpar Sensiz dünya bizlere dar, selam sana ey kutlu yar With submission, faith and patience, you convey the noble message Brought us light through your guidance Peace be upon you, my beloved Ya Habibi, Ya Muhammad Ya Nabi, salam alayka Ya Rasul, salam alayka Ya Habib, salam alayka Salawatullah alayka Ya Nabi, salam alayka Ya Rasul سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك تري محبتك یہ زمین و اسماء آباد ہے رحمت کی برسات آتی ہے دل و جان یا رسول اللہ ایوہ المختار فینا زادنا الحب حنینا جئتنا بالخیر دینا یا ختام المرسلین يا حبيبي يا محمد يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلاة